All the art of war is based on tricks to deceive the enemy, is one of the famous sayings of Sun Tzu and Ukraine is said to be applying exactly this to the announced counter-offensive campaign. To dislodge Russian troops from its territory. Tun Vu was an ancient military thinker, an outstanding general of the Wu state at the end of the spring and autumn period, China. Thanks to his famous military book, he was honored as Sun Tzu. His famous work, Sun Tzu's Art of War, is regarded as a profound work of military theory reflecting ancient military thought. In his Book of Tactics, the ancient Chinese military strategist emphasized the importance of fooling the enemy as follows. When we can attack, we must appear impossible. When we mobilize, we must show that we are inactive. If we are close, we must make the enemy think we are far away. When we are far away, we must make the enemy believe that we are near them. This is exactly what Ukraine is trying to do in the face of a major counter-offensive seen as key to the conflict with Russia, according to Politico. In particular, Ukraine is said to be sending as many confusing signals as possible to Russia on the eve of a counter-offensive that is expected to happen soon in the next few weeks, most likely mid-May, if the ground is sufficient. Dry, or possibly early June. Kiev is said to be, confounding, Russia by releasing a lot of vague information about when and where it will begin its long-awaited counter-offensive. Journalists are being restricted from visiting the eastern front line that stretches for hundreds of kilometers to keep the surprise element of a counterattack so well camouflaged that even Ukraine's ground commanders have not been able to. Specific notice. Meanwhile, Russia seems to be most fearful of a counterattack from the south of Ukraine. Russian commanders seem concerned that, if Ukraine successfully counterattacks from the south, they will be ready to target Crimea soon after. This is also something that retired U.S. Generals Ben Hodges and David Petraeus have voiced support. In recent interviews, Hodges told Politico that he believes Crimea is the key to ending the war with a crushing military defeat for Russia.